In my last video, what I did is I showed how to use Garmin Basecamp, but if you can't use Garmin Basecamp for whatever reason, but you still want a way to do waypoints, favorites uh, on your computer and then send them to your Nuvi or Drive Smart, well, you do it the old school way. Manual text editing. This looks scary at first. It's not. This is actually really easy once you get the swing of it. Now, before continuing, I did post this over to Pastebin, this uh, template I made. This is the template where you just put in your name, and I'll explain this in a second, but if you want to try this for yourself, it doesn't matter if you're using Windows or Linux or Mac. It doesn't, because this is just... It, do you have a text editor? Of course you do. Every operating system does. So you just fill in the information here, which I'll show in, in a moment. If you just need the template for it, that is what is over on Pastebin. Again, it's in the description. Just go to the link here, and you can just copy and paste this directly into your text editor and edit away. And the way this is used is that in every Garmin, Nubian Drive Smart, if you load it into your computer, you plug it in with USB, and you'll notice there's a folder called GPX. So you make your GPX file, and then you just drop it into this folder. Now, ordinarily, you will see stuff like this. So it's those archive and current position and temp. Don't worry about those. You can just leave those as is. You make your GPX file just a name that's something that isn't here, like... Um, custom.gpx, for example, and then you just drop it into this, copy and paste it into this folder, boot the Nuvi or Drive Smart, it will automatically load whatever favorites you have loaded into your GPX, and then that's it. Well, actually, it's not it. The proper way to do this is that you load in, you copy and paste your GPX, then you unplug the Nuvi or Drive Smart from your computer, boot the Nuvi or Drive Smart. It will automatically load in your favorites from the GPX and then shut down the Nuvi or Drive Smart, plug it into your computer with USB again, and then go back here and delete the custom GPX file. If you don't, what happens is that on every boot, if you, for example, if you go in there and delete a couple of those favorites, it will keep loading them over and over and over again as long as the GPX is present. So all you have to do, all you have to remember is that. You boot once with the GPX in there, so it loads them in, and then get rid of it, and then boot it again, and then you're done. And then that's pretty much it. Anyway, so the template's there. Let's move on. I'll get back to Google Maps in a second. So the only difficult part, actually, the only reason you cannot do this from memory is because of this header part. No one can remember this. I certainly can't. This part is actually really easy. This is the easy part, and you'll see how easy it is in just a second. Now, what will this look like when we send it over to the Nuvi or Drive Smart? Well, let me just show you that real quick. Okay. I will expand this and zoomy zoom so you can see a little better. Okay. If you have something that has this advanced information in it, then you see that in your favorites list as this little line of text. It will show the main name of the waypoint favorite. And then this is the extended information, as it were. If it doesn't have the, if it's just a basic waypoint as shown right here, it only shows the name. That's it. That's the difference. So if you don't care about seeing this information below it, just use the basic version and that's all you have to do. So the way that waypoints work, favorites, in a Nuvi or Drive Smart is that everything is based on GPS coordinate. You would think that the um, address information actually matters. It really doesn't. <laughs> all that really matters at the end of the day is does it have coordinate information or not? Without coordinate information, the Nuvi or Drive Smart has no idea where to go. But when you have it, that's what matters. So if you want to do the advanced way, it's there. It's in the paste bin thing, but we're not going to do that. So I'm going to go back to the one I have and just look how much easier that looks now. Now we're cooking. Okay. So what is this made of? 
All right, so you have WPT, which means waypoint. You have latitude, longitude, the name, and the end of the entry. That's it. That's all there is. So let's just say we wanted to create this from scratch. So I'll do it here. And this is when we bring up Google Maps because we're creating our waypoint. And as a matter of fact, let me do this nothing because I, I have this committed to memory now. You'll probably need the copy and paste when you do this for the first few times, but I have it committed to memory so because I've done this enough times. So we'll do six flags over Texas, right? Then, okay, there it is. So what I'm going to do is go to satellite view and let me see, where does it, I'm zooming in right now, where does it point? Okay, it points to the little parking area. There's where all the cars are. So I want to end up right where the car is. So right there, oh, there's my coordinate. All right, so I click that. I'm sorry, I did that a little fast, didn't I? Let me go back. Okay, so there, I did the satellite part. I zoom, zoom, zoomy, zoom, zoom. I click on the car. It brings up coordinate information, which I can click, and then it puts it over here. So then I can click, right click, and copy that information, and okay. So I paste. This is the information I am going to use to create my basic waypoint favorite. So I start with WPT, waypoint, latitude, what I'm doing is I'm copying, cutting and pasting. So I'll do that again. Less than WPT, LAT equals quotes, quotes, up, home, shift, right, 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 control, X, that's cut, down, right, 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 control V to paste, right, space, L-O-N, longitude, equals, quote, quote, up, home, right, right, now it's important to note the 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 um, hyphen here, which means minus. You actually need that because for the latitude, a positive number is north and a negative number is south. On the longitude, if I actually do, I have that right. I might have that mixed up. I don't remember. Well, if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. Anyway, on the second number, um, the negative means, yes, the negative number means west, and the positive number means east. This is how coordinates are determined. So anyway, you need that negative number. This is why it actually shows it here. Oh, actually, wait, yeah, it is, a, okay, yeah. So if you look at the top one here, north, that's a north number, and the second one is, yeah, west. If it was a positive number, it would be east. So just a word of the wise. Well, what happens if you put in, if you forget the hyphen, forget the minus sign? Well, <laughs> it will be in a completely different part of the world. That's what happens anyway. So shift, right, 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 right. Control X, copy, backspace, backspace, to delete that line, and then write, 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 a bunch of times, paste, and greater than, okay, then less than, name, greater than, six flags over Texas, less than, forward slash, name, greater than, and you have to remember to end the uh, waypoint because see how it starts and ends. All you have to do is remember this, this, and this, and we're done. And this, so I can save. And then what I can do from there is I take that file from wherever I saved it, and then put it into the GPX folder on the Nuvi or Drive Smart, and then boot it, and it will show up. And that is that is it.
<laughs> There's really not much more to it. So again, if you want to do this for yourself, yeah, you can totally uh, just do the paste bin thing and copy it into your favorite text editor of choice and uh, have at it. Now the advantage to doing this is that you need to install nothing. You have a text editor. If Windows, you have Notepad. If Mac, I don't know what the Mac text editor is, but I think I think it's TextPad. I I don't I don't know. I don't use Mac OS. Linux I did use for a, a little bit, and that one you have like nine thousand different text editors in it. It depends what distribution you're using, but um, you can use Vim, Genie, that's G-E-A-N-Y, Bluefish, Kate. G edit, uh, there, there's, like I said, there's 9,000 text editors for Linux. And what is the advantage of doing this over using Basecamp? Well, the, the biggest advantage is you don't have to use Basecamp. You can just copy and paste it over and do whatever. Now, again, if you wanted to do the, now I have this set up as a hotkey, which is why I can do this instantly. If you wanted to do the advanced, I, a uh, hotkey macro, I should say. That's one of the nice things about Notepad++. Oh, I can make macros. Macros are great. So if you want to do this, all this stuff where you have the name, street address, city, state, postal code, phone number, and a category. Well, you know what? I might as well show this. Okay. Let me do this again. Advanced waypoint. That, that's a comment, by the way. That's what that thing is. So let me just copy this over here. Okay. Six flags over Texas. And go back over to Google Maps. Go back one. Okay. So let's just copy and paste this information into the advanced one, just to show you how that works. So I'll see it says copy to clipboard. Okay. So I'll go down here to address. All right. And then go down to city. State. Zip. And we got to get a phone number now, which is okay. Copy that. Paste. Clean that up a bit. Okay, and give it a category. You can name the category whatever you wish, by the way. Okay, a note on categories. Um, the In order for categories to show up in your favorites on the Nuvi or DriveSmart, I think you need to have at least three to three waypoints, three favorites, maybe possibly five, with at least three different categories assigned to each one. If you don't do that, it just shows it as a single list. So in order to divvy it up, so to speak, where it actually will show the different categories, you have to have something like two, at least, I think it's at least three, at least three different categories assigned to three different uh, favorites. And I think that's the way that works. I think, I'm not sure. So anyway, that is how uh, I just did an advanced waypoint. Right. So do you need, and you notice it's all extensions. Do you need any of this? No, you do not. What you do need is this part. It is the uh, coordinate information. Again, that is the thing that tells the Nuvi or DriveSmart where to go. That's the most important. So that's why the basic one is just longitude, latitude, and a name. And ultimately, that's all that matters. The only thing that all this does is that it makes it look nicer when it's in the uh, the favorites list. That's all it does. So anything else? No, that's it.